All right, uh, let's look at the definition of convolution. All right, so convolution is a kind of a weird kind of uh, multiplication uh, that works well uh, with the um, uh, Laplace transform. All right, so uh, convolution, uh, f star g of t is defined to be uh, integral from 0 to t, f of tau times g of t minus tau with respect to tau. All right, so it's it's a strange definition, but uh, it has the following properties. Uh, first one, uh, convolution is uh, commutative, which means that uh, f star g is exactly the same thing as g star f. Right? And the second, uh, this is the main property uh, listed as theorem 1, is this. If you apply Laplace transform to the convolution of f and g, this is going to turn into the Laplace transform of f times, so this is a regular multiplication, uh, Laplace transform of g, right? which is going to be very, very convenient when it comes to um, taking a Laplace transform. All right, so uh, let's look at the uh, simple example of actually computing uh, convolution. All right, let's say we're going to take f to be uh, sine of t and uh, take g to be uh, cosine of t. And uh, let's uh, find the f star g, you know, convolution. All right, so uh, we want to find uh, f star g of t, or you can write it as uh, f, f of t star g of t, same thing. All right, so this is going to be uh, integral from 0 to t. Then we have a sine of tau multiplied by cosine of t minus tau. Uh, with respect to tau. All right, uh, in order to compute that, I'm going to use the um, uh, useful um, trig identity. Uh, there's something, uh, it goes something like this, uh, sine of A times cosine of B is equal to uh, one half of uh, sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. All right, so I'm going to carefully apply this. All right, so this is going to be e uh, equal to, all right, so one half, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just to kick it outside. Then we have an integral from 0 to t. All right, so sine of a plus b. So in this case, uh, we are talking about, uh, here is, um, this is our a. Uh, this is our b. So we have add them up, so you're just going to get sine of t. All right, so this is going to be sine of t. All right, plus sine of I a minus b, so it's going to be 2 tau minus t. All right, so this is what we get. And then uh, we want to evaluate that with respect to tau. All right, so uh, find antiderivative. So 1 half is still there. All right, so sine of t, this is a with respect to tau, so this is just a constant, so it's going to be a tau times sine of t, All right? And here, uh, we take the uh, antiderivative of sine, so it's going to be a negative uh, sine of uh, 2 tau minus t, and derivative of 2 tau minus t is 2, so we're going to have to divide by 2 there, right? Then we're still going from uh, 0 to t, right? So we have that, right? So this is equal to 1 over 2, right? Plug in t, so for tau, so it's going to be a t 
sine of t, right? And if you plug in uh, t here, so you have a negative sine of uh, 2t minus t, so it's going to be t over 2, I am minus, right? If you plug in 0, so that's going to be 0. But if you plug in 0 here, you oh, actually, uh, didn't I mess it up? Oh, shoot. I messed it up, sorry. And I, did, I meant that to be cosine here. So this is cosine. Sorry about that. And which means that uh, I have to change that to cosine as well. All right. So this is cosine. Right, then uh, let's see. So if you plug in zero, you have a negative uh, cosine of uh, negative t over two. Right, so we have that. All right, uh, luckily, right, remember cosine of cosine is an even function. And the cosine is uh, actually of negative t is really the same thing as cosine of t. So I'm going to turn into positive. All right, so you have a negative cosine of t minus negative cosine of t over 2. So we can actually cancel those, which is kind of convenient. All right, so you're left with just uh, t over 2 sine of t. All right. So this is how you compute uh, f star g uh, convolution. And then another thing we can do is uh, so using the you know the uh, second property theorem one, which we're going to prove later. Uh, if you're looking for the uh, Laplace transform, maybe I should write it as a note. All right. If you're looking for uh, Laplace transform, let's say uh, t over two sine of t, right? Then, uh, as we computed, this is the same thing as convolution between sine of t. So I'll just write sine of t, convolution with cosine of t, right? So which means that uh, this is going to be a, a Laplace transform of sine, which is going to be, uh, let's see, 1 over uh, s squared plus 1 squared, so I'm going to put 1, times Laplace transform, so this is a capital G of s, so it's uh, uh, cosine is s over s squared plus k, in this case, is 1 squared, right? So this is going to be uh, s over, right? You have uh, s squared plus 1 squared. All right, so we can use this uh, second property to compute uh, some Laplace transform. Uh, in this case, it's very, very convenient. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.